Cyborg has had quite the character journey, from angsty teen to full-fledged member of the Justice League. So let's see what there is to know about Vic Stone, here on Top 10 Nerd. I'm Sasha Wood and these are the Top 10 Facts About Cyborg. Number 10. Cyborg, while initially reluctant, joined the Teen Titans because of the potential for fitting in that had been lacking since he was saved by his father and transformed into a cyborg. On this team, not only did he find acceptance, but people who looked up to him. And a girlfriend. Number 9. Cyborg and Beast Boy have an iconic friendship. When these two were first introduced to each other, they seemed very much like opposites. Beast Boy's carefree, girl crazy, joke cracking attitude, with Cyborg's brash, stoic, and sometimes downright abrasive personality. However, over time, this duo became a fan favorite and remain depicted as besties to this day. Be it saving the world or arguing over burgers versus burritos, these two are sure to have more adventures. Number 8. Once leaving the Titans following the 80s and 90s runs, Cyborg became a mentor figure for new emerging Titans teams of younger heroes, becoming a more mature character, reflecting his growth over the years. Perhaps it was this newfound strength of character that was part of what saw writers promote him to the top tier superhero team. Speaking of the Justice League brings us to number 7. In the 80s, Cyborg appeared in the superpowers team Galactic Guardians and was voiced by Ernie Hudson, which is fantastic. Actually, just this entire cartoon is amazing in a way that that only cartoons from the 80s are. Next Saturday, blast off into adventure with the Superpowers team. Join Superman, Firestorm, and Cyborg as they battle galactic monsters. In this series, Cyborg is an affiliate of the Justice League, so clearly his maturity has been a key part of his character from an early point in his history. Number 6. Cyborg recently, at the time of this recording, has suddenly had a huge spike in popularity. As to why that is, writer Jeff John speculates it's because Cyborg represents us all, and he doesn't mean the metaphorical finding yourself kind of way. No, I quote, he represents all of us in a lot of ways. If we have a cell phone and we're texting on it, we are a cyborg. That's what a cyborg is, using technology as an extension of ourselves. But to me, cyborg is a lot more than that. Do you guys think an increase in the amount of tech we use has added to the increased popularity for cyborg, or is he just a really cool character finally getting his time in the sun? Let me know what you think. And that time got a boost at number 5. Cyborg is officially promoted to founding member of the Justice League during the New 52 reboot that reset the DC Universe, making it much younger and removing much of the legacy material. As a result, the Teen Titans, the team on which Victor Stone had initially appeared, did not as of yet exist. Instead, following his creation, Cyborg ends up in a battle with Darkseid along with Batman, Green Lantern, Superman, Flash, Wonder Woman, and Aquaman. Afterwards, he becomes one of the founding members. Number 4. Cyborg is the reason the Titans have a tower. His father, Silas Stone, constructed it for the team out of guilt over the suffering and negativity his son felt for his new cybernetic form. That's quite the apology present. Number 3. Cyborg has a special ability simply called the Grid. This is a program that he created with the help of Batman to ensure that he doesn't get distracted while on duty. As a cyborg, he is constantly receiving and assessing a huge influx of data. This program allows him to filter high priority data and assess what situations he needs to be dealing with first. Number 2. Despite all of his popularity, Cyborg got his first ever solo series in 2015, a series that has seen the title maintained to a new number one in Rebirth. Cyborg is also slated at the time of this recording to have a solo film released in 2020. And that of course brings us to number 1. Cyborg was briefly a supervillain threat to be stopped during slash following the Technus Imperative, which saw him fusing with the being known as Technus. Of course, like most fusions, it goes awry, and Cyborg becomes Planet Siberion, coming to Earth to assimilate it and anything in his path. Like the Borg. The Justice League, Young Justice, JLA Reserves, Titans, and Teen Titans are all required to take him down, which they do by helping him rediscover his humanity. However, to free him, his soul had to be downloaded into an Omegadrome suit. This resulted in a period of Cyborg being golden and able to shapeshift. So those were the top 10 facts about Cyborg you may not have known. With the Justice League film upcoming at the time of this recording and Rebirth in full swing, there's only more Cyborg coming in the future. So for all you Cyborg fans, get excited. I'm Sasha Wood, thanks so much for watching Top 10 Nerd. Like, share, comment, and keep leaving suggestions for even more nerdy lists. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye.